Hey everyone, we are looking at the histology of the thyroid and parathyroid. It makes sense that we look at both at the same time because the parathyroid is just kind of sitting on the back of the thyroid. And you can clearly see the difference between uh, what we see most of here. That's all thyroid. It's got all these circular things called follicles. A circular spherical structure is called the follicle. And then this area of really dense uh, cells, that's the parathyroid. Uh, let's go a little closer. That was 40x. That's 100x. Let's go to 400x. Great. All right, let's look at the parathyroid real quick. The parathyroid, um, most of these cells, like all, the, all these ones with dark nuclei, most of them are, are called parathyroid cells, nothing too fancy, and they produce parathyroid hormone, also not too fancy. Uh, parathyroid hormone, what does it do? It helps increase levels of calcium in your blood. So for example, when you eat a meal, uh, you absorb a certain amount of calcium, but you can increase that amount, if, assuming there's calcium in your, in your diet, increase the amount of calcium you absorb by, with the help of uh, parathyroid hormone. Um, there are some lighter colored cells. You notice that most of them are dark, but they're like, for instance, uh, right here, we've got some lighter colored cytoplasms. Those are known as oxyphil cells. They don't do much. Uh, know that the darker ones are the parathyroid cells. They produce parathyroid hormone. Uh, okay, moving over to the thyroid. You probably know the thyroid as, an, as a... Uh, it's a gland that's important for metabolism, but as long as we're talking about uh, hormones that regulate calcium, let's talk about calcitonin. So parathy the parathyroid gland produces parathyroid hormone, which decreases, I mean, excuse me, increases blood calcium levels. Parathyroid hormone increases blood calcium levels. If you look at these follicles, look for cells that are in between the follicles, like this one change the focus here. Like this cell here that's in between the follicles, it's interstitial, so to speak. This is known as a C cell. C cells produce calcitonin. Calcitonin is an antagonist of parathyroid hormone. While parathyroid hormone increases blood calcium levels, um, calcitonin reduces blood calcium levels. Why would we need to reduce blood calcium? Well, we can either get rid of excess calcium through urination, but we can also remove it from our blood and add it to our bone. So calcitonin actually helps you add calcium to your bone. Parathyroid helps you get calcium in the first place. So they, they work together, but in terms of, in reference to what they do to the blood, they're, they're antagonists. Calcitonin produced by these C cells in the thyroid gland decrease blood levels of calcium. Okay, so that's all the calcium. Those are the calcium hormones, uh, the, at least the ones here in the thyroid and parathyroid. What about the rest of the thyroid? What about all these big round follicles? Um, so this circ these circular structures is, are known as follicles. That's just a generic term for a circular structure. We'll see follicles in the ovaries, for instance, and we'll get to that later for a completely different set of hormones and processes. But at the very center of this follicle, you'll see this stuff here. It's not quite fluid. It's more like a gelatinous substance. It's known as a colloid. Colloid, C-O-L-L-O-I-D. Um, it's within this colloid that thyroid hormones, triiodothyronine and, and thyroxin, T3 and T4, um, it's where these hormones are produced, within the colloid. These cells that are lining the colloid, they're follicular cells. So you can call them follicular cells. You can see that they're simple cuboidal because endocrine cells are epithe epithelial cells. Um, they help transport, they help produce and transport T3 and T4 out to blood vessels. Um, let's see if you can find a good blood vessel, but you'll, you'll also find blood vessels in between the follicles. Um, so where's a good example? Good example would be, I wish there were blood cells in here, but I don't see them. So I don't want to point you to the wrong thing, but there are blood vessels also, oh, here we go. 
spoke too soon. Okay, so here's a tiny capillary. Like this is a very small blood vessel. Uh, you find blood vessels interspersed in between the follicles. So take care to differentiate between blood vessels like this, which form a, t a tight circle, versus C cells, which are just cells that stand on their own like, like this one here in between the follicles. Right, so these follicles help produce, they're the ones that produce T3 and T4. You secrete it to your bloodstream and T3 and T4 act on the rest of your body to uh, increase your metabolism, regulate your metabolism. All right, so once again, follicles and follicular cells produce T3 and T4. C cells, which are in between, produce calcitonin, and that's in the thyroid. And then when we get to the parathyroid, which is over here, that produces parathyroid hormone. All right, let me know if you've got questions. Thanks for listening.